hey guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we are going to be making this giggle sleeve right here it's the same sleeve i have on this top i made in my last video so let's get started so we're going to take this part here as the center of our sleeve and the next thing we're going to do is to start taking our measurement from here and the full length of this sleeve is going to be 22 inches but i'm going to mark this upper part of it with 17 inches and the band is going to be 5 inches so i just marked the 17 inches point right here so what i'm going to do is to mark a line across so next we are going to come to this top of our sleeve to get the armhole so i'm going to come out by 5 inches and mark it and then come down by another 5 inches as well and i'm going to mark it now i'm going to come down from the top of my sleeve and i'm going to make a curve with my free hand just like you see me doing like this it's i'm going to go down on that curve towards the five inches point i went down with just the same way you saw me doing it like this and then now on this curve i'm going to divide my armhole measurement by two and that divided by two is actually eight inches so i'm going to mark it on this armhole area here so i'm going to come down to this middle of the sleeve somewhere around here and divide the measurement i have around my arm by two and then here i'll divide the measurement i have a little bit above my wrist by two so after doing that i'm just going to connect all the three dots with my ruler so now i'm going to go ahead and cut out this sleeve right now i didn't bother adding any stitching allowance to this because i'm going to slash and spread it so when we get to that place where we are slashing and spreading you're going to see how i'll go about the allowance so guys to slash and spread i went ahead to start cutting this all, all the way to the top leaving a little bit of space at the armhole area from the end of this sleeve just like you see me doing like this just cut from the end of the sleeve all the way to the top but don't completely cut it off just like i'm doing it like this so you can divide the measurement you have at the end of the sleeve by four and use that to just slash and spread this so that it's equal but i did this with my free hand and you can totally do it with your free hand so i folded up my fabric into two to get the two sleeves at once so what i'm doing now is placing this middle of our armhole right in the middle of this fold i have and i'm just pinning it down so now we're going to spread the sleeve out and we're not going to do this with our free hand we're actually going to use measurement in this area so from the first piece we have here i'm marking three and a half inches away and then i'm going to pin the other part of it here three and a half inches away so now from here i'll mark another three and a half inches away bring this other one down here and i'm going to pin it down and then again for the last one i'll mark three and a half inches away from here and then just put the last piece here and pin it down so for this you can see i use three and a half inches apart so you can decide to make use of four inches five inches or even two inches apart it depends on how full you want your sleeve to be so now it's time to cut it out but remember that on this side here i did not add stitching allowance to this side so i'm not going to cut exactly at this point here i'm going to give it a little bit of allowance so just like the way i'm cutting it now you can see i'm not cutting exactly on the pattern paper i'm giving it some space so that i have room for stitching so i'm going to make a notch here at the middle both at the top and at the end i'll be needing this later when i'm joining the sleeve to the dress and to the band So when you open it up, this is what you will have. So the gathers are going to be underneath this place. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my band. And like I told you guys, 
the full length of this sleeve is going to be 22 inches so right now i have about 18 inches which includes stitching allowance so i'm going to go ahead and cut out my band with 5 inches so guys i've cut out the band which is what i have here like this so i cut it in a fold like this what i have here now so what we're going to do is we're going to bring one of the sleeve and you remember that i made a notch at the middle of the sleeve here so i'm going to pleat this sleeve on this band like this so i'm going to first of all pin it down here and then i'll head over to the sewing machine and stitch it down all the way like this all the way to the end so after i was done making the pleats on the arm this is what i have so now we are going to join this to the armhole so i'm just going to flip the top that we are going to put this in on the to the front like this and i'm going to measure the armhole area so what i have here is eight inches so i'm going to flip the sleeve over to the wrong side just like you see me doing it like this and at the top i'm going to measure that eight inches i just measured on the armhole and i'm just going to hold that spot with my pin so that i know where i'm going to stitch down on the sewing machine then on this band area here the measurement i have around my arm just a little bit above my ankle is seven inches so i marked it and just held that part with a pin so i'm just going to go ahead now and stitch it down following this pin and next when i'm done i'm going to attach it to the top itself so this is what i had after i was done stitching down the sleeves now we are going to attach the sleeve to the top itself so the sleeve cap and the top of the shoulder here i'm going to put it together like this and I'm going to pin it down just like you see me doing it like this so I'm just ar arranging the sleeve all the way around the armhole so because this sleeve I, I sewed it in with 8 inches and the armhole is 8 inches is actually going to be just exactly um, the same measurement so I'm just pinning it all the way around so when you're done joining the sleeve to the armhole we're just going to head over to the sewing machine and join the armhole area around so this is the final outcome this is how to make a gigot sleeve it's actually very easy all that you need to do is to slash and spread your sleeve so this is the final look this is what it looks like i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about it in the comment section i will see you guys in the next one